Well, this is a question that many of us wonder at one time or another. Will we age like our parents? Well, the answer to never-ending youth could be closer than you think. Joining us is one of the world leaders in anti-aging and celebrity plastic surgeon, Dr. Vincent Giampapa. Thanks for joining us, Doctor. It's been my pleasure. Well, firstly, how important are genetics to the way that we age? Can we escape this DNA destiny, as it were? Well, you see, past medical opinion was that um, basically what your, genes, what your parents' genes were, you would be getting. The new opinion is really genes account for approximately 30% of our potential for being well or how we age. So that leaves 70% uh, basically in our, our power to control our environment, our lifestyle, to really make the difference. We rely on a lot of things to stave off ageing, creams, vitamins, healthy living all encompass it. But can we do anything to look after our DNA? Well, I think the most important thing we've learned at both the research level and clinical level is, number one, is to prevent damage to our DNA, and number two is to help DNA repair itself. Because DNA is really the blueprint inside each one of the hundred trillion cells of our body that dictate our potential for health and how we age. You're involved in the cutting edge of looking at anti-aging techniques. What are some of the top processes that are helping to stave off aging? Well, I think some of the most important things to look at are uh, stem cells. Now, in our body, there's two types of general groups of cells, our body cells and our stem cells. It's our stem cells that really create the new cells that keep our body healthy and maintain our health and how well we look and age. So those stem cells produce things called growth factors. And growth factors now we know are really the secret to keeping our body healthy at all levels and how we look, how we age, and particularly our skin. And some of the most recent advances in the use of what was laboratory information is now coming out to the public in the form of both skin care and um, oral supplements and particularly um, the new Luminesce product line that has, has come out with topical skincare using growth factors that actually allow our body to help heal itself or restore itself at the, at the level of skin wrinkles and, and aging itself. Let's check in with our Sunrise GP, Dr. Ginny Mansberg. Good morning. Good morning. So explain to me how a cream with stem cells can help your skin. Well, in theory, let's go through the theory first, mm -hmm. a stem cell, which is a building block, it can turn itself into new cells, that it's going to go into the skin and it's going to replace some of the skin cells that you're losing over time and rebuild all your collagen and that sort of thing. And we do know, we do have some human stem cell studies on wounds, skin wounds, burns, that sort of thing that are showing a lot of promise. What we don't have is evidence that a plant stem cell, like I hope we're all not going to grow leaves on our face, but <laughs> that a plant stem cell can do the same thing. We don't have any evidence for that whatsoever and doesn't sink in, we don't even know. Stem cells are being used in more mainstream medicine also, aren't they? Can you give us some other examples? Oh, look, the human stem cells are amazing. As I was saying with wounds, yeah. like this is the, the way of the future for big, you know, burns and big pressure sores, that sort of thing. You know, regenerating bits of heart that have died, Goodness. regenerating nerves. I mean, this is... And tendons for you know orthopedic injuries you know knees and ankles that sort of thing it is huge it absolutely works with human stem cells not so sure about the plant business okay so this could be the way the future though in a lot of health care